Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for your intimate extended bonus reading. So first of all, thank you so much to my subscribers and everyone who shows support. Thank you for all of your views and congratulations on earning your bonus reading this season. Um, if you are subscribed, then you already know the deets and if you are new to the channel, definitely check the description box below for all of the ways to connect with me outside of YouTube. Now, obviously, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind as time, energy, and gender are fluid and roles can be reversed. So if this is your story, comment below, and if not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Just please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. Um, and like I said to my subscribers, everyone who supports the channel, thank you so very much. And if you are wanting to book a personal reading, my payment app links and website are down below in the description box. And for those of you who enjoy your intimate extended readings, definitely become a member of the Spicy Subscriber Society. Um, that link is also down below for my members only area. So like I said, it's an intimate reading. So it is for the ages of 18 and up only as some of the images in the erotic fantasy tarot are very scandalous. And obviously we don't want any tarot related traumas up in here for any children out there. So if you're underage, please click off and have a blessed day in the Lord and we will catch you on the flippity flip. So speaking of flippity flip, don't force the reading to fit. If it's not for you and you're confused, then click off. If it is for you, you'll know it um, and reverse the rules, flippy floppy, whatever resonates with you. Um, and this is about the energy of you and your person. Okay. So take what applies. So the first two cards out are love and commitment, Taurus. So clearly the connection that you have with this person is very, um, very real. Okay. I do feel as if the two of you love each other very much. I feel as if you're committed to each other. Um, you have this knot that's shaped like a heart here, two very different birds tying it together. So, you know, you and this person can be very different from one another, but committed all the same. Okay. Um, this card to me also talks about self-love, um, which if that's something you've been doing Taurus, then obviously, you know, that's the energy you're going to attract. So this could be spirit saying, because of all the love you've poured into yourself, now a commitment is coming and showing up in your world, okay? Um, someone who is on the same page as you, someone who wants the same things. So whether or not you've met this person yet, um, that's going to be different for everybody. But let's get another card here. What else do we need to see for Taurus, please? in regards to the energy of their person new beginnings interesting this card also came up for the virgo reading um and in that reading i mentioned how beyond the door we have the sun and the moon coming up over the mountains right divine masculine divine feminine so this could be a story of divine counterparts okay having a chance at a new beginning together after a lot of transformation so what else one more card from this deck which is the spell casting oracle by the way and then we will move into the tarot. The last card is answers. So spirit is saying that you are about to get the answers that you have been seeking in regards to this connection. Okay. Um, maybe you have been seeking answers for a while. This is sort of a hermit energy. So if you've gone within, if you have um, done some soul searching, if you've been pouring all of that love into yourself, all of that energy into yourself, then spirit is saying that you are going to have your call for love answered. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have well being. So I do think that that's exactly what spirit is saying. Okay. Lots of transformation within you. You've been focused on your well being. You've been focused on your own self, your environment, the people in your world. I mean, you can see she's laying in the field. She's relaxing. She's at peace. Okay. And even though there are mountains in the image, the mountains don't seem to be an obstacle here. It's more of a, <laughs> it's more of an art background than anything else. Right. <clears throat> so I do feel too, that you've already been through a lot of obstacles. 
and again this could even be the energy of your person um but i feel as if obstacles have already been achieved here okay and now it's time for resting it's time for um for reaping those rewards okay the transformation has occurred the changes have taken place so what do we need to see in the tarot about the energy of taurus's person what energy are they connecting to please The energy your person is connecting to is the page of wands, okay? Someone who is creative, someone who is energetic, um, passionate, curious, okay? This is a brainstorming energy as well. So this could be like the beginnings of something new, something passionate. Um, but I also see the page of wands as a messenger card. So this could be your person wanting to reach out, okay, getting ready to reach out to you to share this idea of a passionate life ahead okay so there's the beginning that we were talking about this person is on the precipice of that beginning okay and they're brainstorming ways to take action so in their conscious awareness oh my goodness so in their conscious awareness we have the knight of wands and the ace of cups so this person is definitely going to, I mean, they're, they're taking action. Okay. They're, you, you're going from the page of wands to the, the knight of wands. All right. So there's a progression of energy here. So this person has gone from brainstorming and thinking about how they're going to come forward what they're going to say, how they're going to act to taking that action. Okay. Um, they're charging forward. They're, they're brave. They're passionate. Okay, um, this person could be also like a little bit of a flirt, um, a little bit of an instigator, if you will. But, um, you know, the Knight of Wands is someone who takes action without really thinking things through. And I do feel it's because they are driven by love. Okay, the Ace of Cups is pure, unconditional, unadulterated love. Like this is exactly what everyone in the world wants. Okay, um, so, and I love how the cup is at the bottom of the waterfall, but the waterfall isn't filling the cup, okay? It kind of speaks to that self-love, right? You can't just sit back and, and expect love to pour into you. You have to do the work sometimes. You have to love yourself. It would require actually walking to the waterfall or, or dipping the cup inside of the water. So, I think this person is being driven by love right now. It's causing them to, to feel brave, to take action um, in in life towards you and obviously the knight of wands is a very sexual energy as well so this person isn't just hot for you taurus they love you okay so how do they feel although we already know that this is driven by love this could also be their awareness of your feelings towards them which is causing them to to be brave and, and to have that confidence right so next we have the ace of pentacles the most solid offer in the tarot this is a proposal this is a solid new beginning okay it's the golden seed of opportunity so um yeah i mean their hearts like they want to commit taurus they want to they want to be with you Okay, that's really what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the song by Mandy Moore, I Want to Be With You. So this person wants to commit to you, right? We saw, <laughs> we saw this love and commitment, okay? Love and commitment. Now it's coming out in the tarot cards. Like you really can't even make this shit up, Taurus. So this person loves you. They want to commit to you. They could want to propose or make an offer to you. Or again, this could be something that they're hoping um, in their heart that you will approach them with. Okay. Um, I do feel as if whoever this person is is single right now, but they're very stable. Okay. This is also your energy. We have the nine of pentacles, someone who is independent, um, abundant, doesn't really need anyone, sort of a pre empress energy, someone free of any attachments. Okay. And then also we have the two of swords. So, you know, maybe this person has been single for a while and kind of doing things on their own. And when this love came along, maybe they, they spent a, a, a long time being indecisive about it, right? Maybe they were worried or, or fearful or whatever. They didn't want to make any decisions. Um, they, they wanted to kind of hide from it. This is also a card of ghosting and no communication. Um, so again, we're all, we're talking about their heart space here. So 
I do feel as if even though maybe this person has been through that, I don't think that they're being indecisive towards you. Okay, I don't think this is about like them trying to figure out which way to go or being at a crossroads. Um, I think this is about them uncovering their anxieties surrounding love and independence. So I do think that your person is the independent type. Okay, they might not be the type that you can just tie down or or jumps from relationship to relationship. Your person is independent. So, you know, maybe the thought of love can be kind of confusing to them because again, it's it's an emotion that drives them. It's not something that really leaves room for a lot of thinking. So, so yeah, I do feel as if your person may have some some trouble deciding whether or not they want to take themselves off the market. Um, but I don't think that that's going to keep them from doing it. Okay. And we have the strength card after that. So your person's really strong. All right. They're really confident. They have all the willpower in the world. They've tamed the beast within themselves. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, you know, I think your person's a hard worker. I think they're strong in life, maybe even strong physically. Um, so let's get into how they're viewing you. Okay. What is their perception of you? Their perception of you is the seven of pentacles, okay? So they could be seeing you as really working on something, on a project, right? Um, working on your stability. Um, this could also be frustration, okay? For things not coming into fruition in a timely matter, needing to be patient for something to grow. Um, so, you know, Taurus, maybe, maybe you are kind of frustrated with this person. Maybe you've waited a long time for this person to commit to you. Um, and it's taking longer than you, than you would have expected or desired. Okay. So they see you out there being patient, being, um, <laughs> quietly frustrated. Okay. And, but not giving up. All right. Not giving up. It's like, no matter what, no matter how long you've made this person wait, or excuse me, they've made you wait. And again, you can reverse roles if it's the opposite, but as long as, as the waiting has been, there hasn't been any lack of dedication, okay, um, or consistency here. So they're, they perceive you as someone consistent and dedicated. So let's get a clarity card for that. And now we have the hermit, okay? So we saw the hermit energy, you know, and maybe that's exactly what happened, right? Maybe there was and is love there, but your person is afraid of commitment, okay? Um, wanting to stay single, even though they love you and they want to be with you and they want to make this offer, they're afraid of what's going to happen once they put themselves in a situation of partnership, okay? So this could be exactly why maybe you have sort of pulled away and gone within your own self, seeking answers and, and tapping into your inner wisdom, possibly just kind of keeping to yourself. Maybe you ghosted this person or you've just kind of not been saying anything to them, waiting for them to figure their shit out. Um, and, and that's perfectly fine. And, and I do think that that's exactly why um, Spirit is saying you're about to get answers from this person. Because instead of pushing this person, instead of forcing it, I think this person actually respects you more for remaining consistent. Okay. So let's talk about this person's likely actions moving forward. The King of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. So we got daddy energy coming up in here. And that's also your energy, right? We have all of the earth signs with their intimate extended bonus readings this season. So this earth energy coming through doesn't even surprise me, okay? Their likely actions are to... Um, are to be stable. They want to be stable. They want to, um, they want to be in control. Okay. I think that's what this person really is aiming for. They're going to stay in control. Um, but the King of Pentacles is also a father. Okay. A nurturer, similar to the queen, someone who is <clears throat> observant, but also puts in the work. Okay. I think this person wants to commit 
without giving up their seat at the throne, okay? Um, now I'm thinking about Game of Thrones, y'all. This person wants to stay in control. Um, control. I'm thinking of Madonna now. Uh, so yeah, you know, and there, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Maybe you, you have someone who's very dominant, okay? Someone who really just does not want to ever put themselves in a situation of, of struggle, okay? Maybe money is very important to this person or physical security. Let's get a clarity card here for this King of Pentacles. You know, King of Pentacles is commitment as well, okay? So to clarify, we have the Nine of Swords. So, you know, your person's really been losing sleep over this and possibly suffering in silence. This could be a period of separation between you and them. Even though you both know deep down you want to be together and you want to commit to each other, you kind of both, I think, needed time. And this person may have needed to destroy their ego, okay? Their mind has been playing tricks on them and making them feel as if there needs to be a reason to fear the future, Okay, the Nine of Swords to me is a fear of the future, a fear of what's to come. Um, not being able to sleep because you're afraid of what's going to happen the next day. Not being able to say anything because everything going on in your mind is too painful. Okay, so this person could be dealing with a lot, right, behind the scenes. Um, so hopefully, I'm going to get another clarity card for this, but hopefully this is saying that your person is planning to transform that energy or transmute that energy um, by staying in control physically that will help them to kind of defeat their ego and their fears so you might need to just kind of let this person take the reins Taurus and and that might not be easy for you considering you yourself are that king of Pentacles that that energy of stability and, and even stubbornness sometimes um, and you know what I'm okay so you know what I'm hearing you and this person are very different from each other, but you're so alike that it's a little bit scary. It's almost like one of these readings where I can't tell whether or not we're picking up on your energy or this person's. So there could be a lot of mirroring going on here. Um, seven of Wands. Okay, this is the warrior energy. So I do think the... I feel as if the foundation behind all of this is the fact that this person could have been up against a lot, okay, in their life. Um, someone in warrior's pose is someone who is very defensive, someone very uh, guarded, okay, needing to like fight off the energies around them and stand up for what they believe in. So your person may have needed to fight for their independence in the past, which is why they really don't want to let go of those reins, okay? If they've been up against a lot of people who have been pushing back on their, their dreams, their desires, their goals, and they've had to really fight for what they believe even then your person is a fighter and you're just gonna have to accept that about them okay so let's talk about their truest desire here what is their desired outcome here with you the two of wands okay so they're definitely desiring a future okay they're planning the future they're thinking about what it's gonna be like um, this is also a card of travel um, and being at a crossroads. So I think their desire is to make peace with the past and finally step into the future with you. But again, it's going to require them to let go right now in this card. You can see she has let go of the other wand. She's got her one hand on the, the, the one wand going into the future. Okay. And she's got her other hand in her lap, which again, to me symbolizes a protection of self okay she's got her hand over her lap protecting the parts of herself that are most precious right and again very symbolic here her desire or his desire is to move forward into the future that they've been planning with you while also protecting themselves okay so let's talk about their challenge what is their ultimate challenge here yeah, the challenge here is to not get stuck in their ego. And I say that because the Queen of Wands came up in the reverse. Haven't been reading reversals for these readings, but I feel like it's relevant here. Um, Queen of Wands is sexy, fiery, a leader, charismatic. She takes control, a fighter, okay? Someone who is into the witchy woo, right? 
The Queen of Wands, similar to the, the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this is the energy of someone who's like, I don't need someone to fight for me. I don't need someone to defend me because I can defend myself. So in a sense, I'm picking up this energy off of your person where they feel like they need to do everything for themselves or achieve everything for themselves. Um, because again, they needed to fight for where they stand. And that could be why they're so afraid to give up their seat of power. Okay, I'm thinking of the Queen of Dragons now, right? Someone who is very in control um, with their own ideas, their own passions. And sometimes our ego can trick us into thinking that someone who wants to be our partner is just wanting control. Um, so I think this person had a lot of lessons to learn in comparison of commitment and codependency okay this person could have come out of a situation like that and fought to the death to get themselves out of it to rise up and be who they are to this day okay um and i do think this person has grown a lot and, and you know maybe like i said the queen of wands in the reverse can symbolize this person's ego getting in the way to where instead of coming across as someone powerful and charismatic and and a leader they come across as someone who is manipulative or controlling um, and again, this, this fool card coming up here, she's ready to dance up off this cliff. Okay. And we've got these geese flocking above her, which to me again, symbolize soul connections. So your person's challenge is to take that leap of faith and just trust that the universe is guiding them in the right direction. All right. Um, and you know, a piece of advice for your person, if, if you fought so hard to get where you are now, I mean, if God forbid you take this leap of faith, this risk on a new future, and you end up in a, a similar situation, you know you're strong enough to get yourself out at this point, okay? So I think your person needs to just work past their fears, um, and they'll be ready, right? It, it's not that they don't love you. It's not that they don't want to commit to you. It's that they've learned, they've been conditioned in their physical world to fear those things, okay, based on the toxic versions of love and commitment they've been shown in the past. So, um, interesting. So their challenge, we got their challenge, their desire. Let's see if there's anything else we need to see about what's going on behind the scenes for this person in their physical environment. The high priestess. So this person right now is really connecting to their high, um, their higher vibrational energy, their divine feminine energy, similar to the hermit. Um, you know, I think this person is very intuitive, very connected to their soul, their spirit. And so I think that maybe this person could get confused. Like I said before, they might be getting, um, what, what, how do they say? It's important to be able to use your discernment to differentiate between your intuition and your fears, okay? And I think that's exactly what this person is trying to do right now behind the scenes. They have this deep inner knowing of what it's going to be like when they do commit to you and connect with you, but their fear is keeping them complacent, okay? So right now what this person is learning to do behind the scenes is use their discernment and trust themselves, okay? Um, because like I said, it's almost as if this person has seen down the line. They know the potential that is possible between the two of you. They just need to open themselves to letting it happen. In, okay, so let's get the, um, I don't know why I just shuffled a bunch, but bottom of the deck, we have the eight of swords in the reverse. So again, this person needs to release themselves from that mental prison. That's the driving force of this reading. Okay, this person needing to release themselves from the um, the traps inside of their mind that they've set them for themselves, essentially, and know that they're not stuck, okay? This is not some sort of a situation where they're not able to move forward. They just need to remove their blinders, okay? They need to understand that they're keeping themselves stuck and trapped and from being with the person that they love, okay? So, yeah, very interesting. Let's go ahead and get some mystical Lenormand cards and see what else spirit wants us to see about this connection. So we have the journey, okay? The ship, the journey. Um, so yeah, I mean, I do kind of feel as if this person has been 
through a lot in life. Okay, I'm thinking about like the life of a sailor, someone who's on the sea all the time. You know, you need to learn how to adapt. You need to learn how to um, to live in an environment that is is unstable. Okay, that's constantly rocking back and forth. And you know, I think this person has done a really great job. You can see this ship is fully decorated with all of these different cloths. Like, there's been a lot of work put into this person's environment, into their life. Um, I also feel like, again, the word, the journey, it keeps coming up. So you and this person are on a journey and whether or not you're physically together right now, I do feel as if the journey all leads back to the same place. We have the key coming out of this dragon egg now. Okay. So I do feel again, this person is needing to unlock this energy within themselves, okay, this person could also need to allow themselves to tap into their divine feminine energy more, okay, as this is an egg, we're talking about an egg with a key in the center of it, and I really, really feel like this person is very um, hyper-masculine, okay, and that's not a bad thing, a lot of times divine feminines out there step into that role of hyper masculinity because they've learned that they can't depend on anyone else okay so i do feel as if there's a bit of a balancing that needs to happen right now for this person um and i'm actually gonna go ahead and pull up the definition of the key in this deck and i just saw the ship talking about a long journey yeah so the key, this indicates that something is 100% certain. Okay, so like I said, the long journey, it's going to lead back to the same place. Okay, when asked if something is going to be successful, this card should always be interpreted as a positive reply. Okay, so everything that's happening, all the transformation, everything this person's going through and you're going through, it's it's all going to be for a reason. Okay, maybe that reason is not going to be revealed for a while, um, but I feel as if you are the key to this person understanding more about themselves. All right, so let's get some advice from the Mystic Sisters Oracle and see what spirit wants our lovely Taurus viewers to know. Oh my gosh, it has bent this card. No! Okay, it's not that bad. So we have Bridget, which, okay, I'm gonna need to move these cards clearly because so we got a little bit of a stack going on here. So we have Bridget. And we also have mania. Okay. So let me go ahead and open up the book and we will discuss. So let's talk about Bridget first. Keywords here are inspiration, revelation, and creativity. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Queen of Wands. The great mother goddess Bridget offers you a flame of inspiration from her cauldron of brewing creativity. Such a gift as this must not be passed up. Now is the moment to act on the orders of your muse. She will speak to you in the midst of an artistic and creative endeavor when you are most receptive. Your eyes, hands, and ears will be guided to create magic. By following the instructions of your muse, you will find your soul is nourished and a greater meaning to your time on earth is understood. Inside the act of creativity is a hidden treasure. Y'all, it's making me think of the key again. It's like you and this person are the key to each other's growth, okay? So inside the act of creativity is hidden treasure, the ability to slip out of time into eternity. Bridget will inspire you to find your fire within. So, you know, Taurus, is this person the key to igniting your passion? Um because I kind of feel like, again, this is a mirroring energy. Uh, mania, let's talk about this broad. She looks so familiar. Who does she look like? She looks like a celebrity, I feel like. So mania, <laughs> y'all, the key words are anxiety and nervous imaginings, all right? And it's taking me back to the nine of swords, all right? 
So the Roman goddess Mania is the mother of spirits of the night who ruled the undead in the underworld. Her name means to think vigorously. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Though this does not refer to simply interesting thoughts or innovative ideas. She's the goddess of madness. Mania would send her spirits to earth to inflict insanity and to cause people to think in a state of frenzied delusion. Oh Lord, drawing this card is a warning to cease your obsessive thinking. Sometimes we get caught up in a loop of worries, fears, and anger, but not all of our thoughts are based in reality. Do not believe everything your own mind is telling you. It is imperative now to meditate as sanity needs to be restored. You may have reached the point where you must allow yourself plenty of space and direct yourself to be quiet, still, and calm. So for some of you Taurus watchers out there, the Eight of Swords could definitely be your energy, okay? Especially if you're waiting on this person to figure themselves out, if there has been a period of separation or no, no communication, you know, this could be kind of driving you crazy in a sense, all right? And now I'm hearing Britney's, you drive me crazy. Like this person has come into your life and ignited a fire within you. And it's causing um, the journey of spiritual growth, okay? So a very interesting reading. Let's go ahead and get some messages from this person from the Eternal Messages by the Pretty Psyche. I will link her down below. Oh, wow. So we got a bunch pouring out here. I've thought about having a family with you, okay? Yeah, you know, clearly this person is thinking about all that stuff. If they're thinking about love and commitment, those are the thoughts that follow. I've been more focused on money because I'm trying to build for myself. Okay, King of Pentacles, we hear you. I don't want to hide this connection anymore. So, you know, talking about the Two of Wands being their desire to move things forward and, and step into the future, um, I've been astral projecting to you. So if you're feeling this person's energy, that is why. I was in denial. Mm, okay. And, and, you know, obviously we saw this person and what they've gone through and why they are the way that they are, okay? And, you know, maybe they convinced themselves that things wouldn't work out with you for a while because of the things they've been through in the past, but... We also have, you will hear from me soon, okay? So this person is definitely wanting to reach out to you. Um, I do want to make things right with you. Give me that opportunity. Um, so yeah, you know, I do feel like this is a period of separation between you and this person. We have, I do want to reconcile with you, okay? Reconciliation is coming for you and this person, Um and going back to that image that we saw before, which card was it? This one. Well-being. I feel as if this is the energy that spirit is asking you to channel right now while you're waiting on this person, okay? And I'm not saying wait around on this person and, and close yourself off to other opportunities and whatever and become obsessed. No, I mean focusing on you and your well-being being at peace with yourself is so important, okay? Because that energy is attracting this person back into your environment, all right? Let's get one more shuffle before we end the reading. I know more than you think. Oh my goodness. So, you know, I do think this person has probably vetted you at this point, right? If they're as um, ego driven as we've seen and, and they are so concerned with um, protecting their energy, they're definitely vetting you. Okay. They're definitely looking you up. They're learning about you and you're really the best thing that has ever happened to me. So they know this. Okay. And that is exactly what is helping them transform and look how we're ending things. Just know I'm obsessed with you, okay? Why are you so obsessed with me? Y'all, I don't know if you've ever heard of Sick Kick music, but he does such a really fantastic remix of that song by Mariah Carey. You need to go check it out on YouTube. But anyways, you guys, this reading was intense. I hope that it resonated with someone out there. If it did, please don't forget to like the video and comment below. Um, send me a message if you feel so inclined. And other than that, you guys, I hope that you enjoy uh, the season ahead, the season of Libra. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you again for the new moon in Libra reading coming up this weekend. So anyways, y'all, I love you and I will see you again soon. Bye.